Everybody, welcome back to XCOM, and we're doing our second mission here, Alien Objections. Let's go see how I've horribly messed up everybody's characters. Oh god, what have I done? Yeah, there you go. Rift just gets the same helmet. I like that that helmet he had before. Um, and I, I like some of these. So, Doral has a ne massive neck beard. I figured that would be work all well for him. Um, Libby, I gave you some cool glasses and hat. Oh, you got a beret, so that should be nice for you. A uh, triple strike. I saw that haircut, and then I'm like, that that's so you. You look like the dumbest haircut. But if it makes if it's in consultation, I gave you a goatee as well. And Tivez, uh, that helmet looks retarded as hell, and I figured you should have it. <laughs> it's sitting around, and uh, he gets a fedora like everyone else. Um, <laughs> these are just the people I kind of know. I can't really think of anything to do for people I I'm not as familiar with. But but if you if you prove yourself in the game, I will give you. I don't know, an actual decent, like, loadout, or clothes. You have to earn your clothes here at XCOM, that's how it works. Anyways, um, we've got some nice, uh, new loadouts to basically go over. Uh, and so this is our infantry, so he can basically shoot twice if he, uh, if he chooses to. Or shoot an overwatch, which is what I'm gonna be doing a whole lot with him. Um, the first thing, namely, to, to note is that we actually have a difference between tack armor and tack vest. And you saw the short sleeves in the mission there before. It's because the tech vest has more mobility but less HP. Uh, the tech armor, uh, sorry, tech armor, not tech armor, has less mobility but one more HP, uh, which is really, really quite nice for keeping people alive. Um, in addition, uh, per in particular, this class here, the um, uh, infantry, we can have a battle rifle. Uh, battle rifle has an aim penalty and a movement penalty, but you get another damage and you get another critical chance. Um, this is more if you have, like, if you're stacking aim. I, I don't really like the battle rifles, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, to be honest, I normally put carbines on people like this, just for accuracy. And I'm debating actually doing it for this guy. Actually, yeah, you're gonna get a carbine, I don't care. Um, we have an assault- so, okay, I'll, I'll go over what, the, what I just put on him in a second. Just, uh, hold the fuck on. Uh, SMG is a new weapon, it, it gives, uh, three mobility at the cost of damage and critical hit chance. Um, so it does one less damage in rifles. Uh, but it gives a lot of mobility, so it's someone if you want to shoot a scoot, uh, they can do some interesting builds with that. Uh, we have someone with an assault rifle here. This is the default weapon in the game. Uh, not much change with that. We have assault carbines. This is what I just gave to this guy. It gives plus seven accuracy and plus one mobility, and uh, pretty much just a little bit less damage for accuracy. The reason I gave it to this guy is that that aim bonus counts twice if he shoots twice. You know, that's kind of my logic with that. And we also have the shotgun. Um, shotgun is pretty much as the same as the default game. There's not much else to say about that. We have a bunch of other weapons here, which we'll go over later. Oh, we mostly have the sniper rifle. Actually, I'll just show it to you. Might as well, I can actually do that. Sniper rifle is the default weapon of the uh, sniper class, obviously, only he can use it. Uh, one of those weapons, once again, that you cannot do costly actions like moving and shooting in the same turn. Uh, kind of like the default game, unless you get snapshot, which is not as nerfed in this version of the game, uh, in this mod, that is. So it's kind of nice. Um, the saw works pretty much like the saw in the regular game, which is basically you can sh uh, move and shoot it. It does a little bit more damage than the uh, assault rifle, and it's not too bad, uh, but no crit chance. Um, the counterpart to the saw is the LMG, which is new as of this mod. It's actually really, really fucking nice, but it's like it's basically like a giant like sniper rifle at close range, which means you cannot shoot and scoot with it. But you get squad sight, which fires beyond uh, five tiles beyond normal range. Not like the, not like across the map, like the snipers can, but they can shoot a little bit further, which is really nice. Uh, but it's a, one of those; they're basically really fat and slow. The gunners, if you if you put that on them, uh, marksman's rifle is a kind of a it, the scout can use it as well as the sniper if you want to make a, a close range sniper. This automatically gets snapshot, and there's no penalty for that. For moving and shooting. It's just that uh, the squad sight only gives it uh, fire be five tiles beyond visual range. Once again, it's kind of like the LMG. Um, so it's if there's like a map that you want to basically have your sniper running and, and gunning kind of a thing, then this is it. You can do that. Uh, it also has a relatively high base crit chance actually when I think about it. Um, it's important to note that squad sight actually got nerfed uh, somewhat uh, in I think either uh, Enemy Within or this mod. Basically, you get negative 30 critical bonus, so you basically don't crit when you squad sight, unless they come close enough for you to crit. Uh, there are ways to override that, though, with abilities. So there's that. 
Then we have a pistol here. So pistol is your just the default pistol, pretty much as you expect. One to three damage, two ammo in it. A actually de degrades at long range. It's important to note. Um, there we have a machine pistol, which if you put it on, you get negative one mobility, and also negative ten accuracy when you draw it. But it does one more damage, which is really nice. Um, then you have the sawed-off shotguns, the things that I just made. And it's basically a shotgun in your secondary slot. It's very, very nice. The only problem is uh, it does the exact same damage. But the only the only thing is it's it's a point-blank weapon. Um, it, it should mention it somewhere here. Yeah, extremely short range. So it's ineffective at long range. It's a sawed-off, so it doesn't really work that way. Uh, now we have our items. So we get two items per uh, soldier, so we got to make it count. Uh, the first one we have here is laser sight, just plus five aim with, uh, well, with primary weapon and rocket launchers. We have high capacity magazines, we get an additional uh, shot before we have to reload, which is good for an infantry who shoots a lot. Uh, we also have things like our uh, alien trophy here, uh, which uh, if you give it to people, it confers a steadfast, a steadfast perk. So they don't they don't panic when anyone is wounded or, or someone's killed. Um, it doesn't prevent the aliens from doing things like psi panic on them, but uh, it, it like they, they basically hold on to it. It's like, okay, these aliens can die, basically. It's, it's, it's interesting, but if you don't want people to panic, it's something you can equip. We can actually equip battle scanners as an item. Uh, ceramic plating is the plus one hit point. It hasn't changed from default game. AP grenades you some using a whole lot. It doesn't destroy cover, uh, and it's also important to note that uh, Cover destruction isn't a guarantee with HE grenades, um, unless you like specialize in it with uh, engineer. Uh, that's that's one of the things you can do. But uh, yeah, and there's damage reduction based upon distance, which is important to know. Uh, we have flashbangs now, which uh, they'll s suffer significant aim and movement penalties when you use flashbangs. We have smoke grenades, which is pretty much like the medic smoke grenade. No, not much different there. We have an HE grenade, uh, which uh, it does a little bit less damage than the AP grenades, but uh, destroys cover, which is really nice. Uh, med kits are pretty much the same as the default game. And look, you can actually equip rockets, and you can equip, uh, shorter rockets if you want. Yes, you can, on, on the Rocketeers. Um, but it makes them slower. Uh, so it's, it's something important. It's also, that slot is very valuable to put it on them. So, you know, that's kind of important to know as well. Uh, so I guess I've pretty much explained all we need to do about that. Um, Showing off what I've actually done with these people. Uh, Darwal is carrying around an LMG. Uh, no, LMG right there. He's got a laser sight. I'm trying to boost the aim of my, my gunners and my infantry. And all the other rookies are carrying around assault rifles and also grenades. Tons of grenades. So basically I can get those finishing grenade kills to help them level up. And that's pretty much how I play this game. And I always give them, I always give them full armor except when they're like an assault or a scout. That's something, someone that needs to really get the max out of their movement. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's get going. I know, it was a bit long in me explaining all this stuff, and I've already done it once. I, mean, I apologize if you've heard it before. Dropship has arrived. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. I should mention my policy with regards to saving. As you noticed probably from the first episode, um, I don't... I didn't put on Iron Man, so it's not like a one save thing I can go back. I'm gonna try not saving, I'm gonna try accepting Central, mistakes. Central, Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna try not to... To like save scum and war or whatever. Um, my policy is going to be basically this: if a mission goes horribly south, that I kind of figured it would, um, I probably will load for that. Uh, if I lose someone, I won't really do that. If I make a minor mistake, I probably won't. Um, or if there's like a bug in the game, uh, I've had that happen on invisible enemies and some other shit on, on stream actually mostly. So here we have our first guy there. Uh, since we know it's kind of relatively safe there, I'm going to move my gunner here. Actually, I probably should put him on this side, because we already know that way is safe. And uh, all my other people are going to stack up against the wall. Because XCOM Long War is not a bug-free game. Alright, well we have- oh, we have meld right there! 
Well, fuck, we'll go get that first. Unfortunately, the problem with not having uh, very fast uh, teammates here is... Uh, visual on the goods. Visual on the goods. Uh, well, we don't we don't see anybody in the store here, so we're gonna go up here. Yeah, there you go. So next turn we can go get that delicious, delicious, tasty meld. Headed there now. Now, I I recommend you have your meld with basically uh, aye, aye, milk and, and cereal. It's, it's probably the best the best way of doing that. All right, my gunner's gonna still move up there. The meld does expire after a little bit, but and we hear them coming straight through through doors somewhere. And we also hear, I think that's, uh, uh, that's nasty guys. Whatever, let's go get the, Heading to that the meld. Location. Forget what's important. Libby grabs the first meld. Delicious. All right, uh, we don't want to move too much more forward. Uh, actually, I can, I can pretty much assume that they're over there now. Um, I'm debating now redirecting my attention over there. So we're gonna go and bring out our gunner here. I think we should actually, because we know they're there. I'm on it, Commander. So let's let's let uh, the infantry actually go up here, and uh, we're gonna start moving this person move. back. We heard the door, right? Sounds like it sounds like the yeah. I know there. I know this meld. I know Libby. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to let it rest for for I'm for a turn. Move. All right. Uh, we'll spend one turn overwatching here. What the hell? They're over there now. All right. Well, let's check what's over there first. Because as I said, I heard a door and it sounded like it was over here. Uh, okay. And Rip. Rip will be the first one in. Uh, Rip cannot go very far. We can also see what's on the roof. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Like let's, let's clear the roof first so we don't have any nasty surprises. Alright, there's no nasty surprises up here. Let's have a look at what's inside the building here. Ah, oh, we don't see anything. That's affirmative. Let's see what's over here. Alright, we have absolutely no idea what's over here. That's just fucking fantastic. All right, I, I'm I'm not gonna um, move any more up. I'm thinking about taking the upper path now, just because we have we do have an easy method of getting up there. Yeah, let's just go. I'll go up here. Since we've relatively just cleared that. Um, we're gonna just make uh, very big moves. Actually, we can't go up there while that person's blocking the pipe. All right, we're gonna do some sprints uh, to basically get everyone into position here. Good to go. On the move. And our last guy. So when we're on the roof, we're gonna. Oh shit. Okay, that person took a completely different route. Hopefully, uh, not gonna trigger anything. Okay, you gotta watch that pathing. That pathing is is pretty bad. All right, we see we hear sectoids down there. All right, my plan is to stay just a little bit away from the the side. Okay. Uh, yeah, not go not go that far. Affirmative. Got it. On the move. And our gunner can just dash straight to here. Already there. You're not already there. Oh, here we go. We have our, our drones. They're not doing anything though. The question is, do we want to trigger them? The answer is yes. Yes, we will. Rip, Rip will be the one to trigger. I'm sure my team would love to get their hands on that thing. One of them is going to the roof. Alright, so what's my gunner got? 
Gunner has a shot on that guy. Not a very good shot, though. Uh, we do have one, two guys here. What's our grenade situation looking like? We can get a grenade off on that one. Uh, what's our aim situation looking at? Like, uh, it's not actually as bad as you would think. Um, I would really like to get that drone, though. So, oh, and we've now triggered more of them. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Uh... We're gonna move back. Now, if I go back here, I probably won't be able to get a shot off. Let's tr try going back here. He shouldn't... Yeah, he's not gonna get hit by anybody. Um, yes, and we're gonna move this person here. To Overwatch. Moving to position. Don't worry, this guy here will be uh, suppressing this one. I love that music. I didn't use suppression enough in my first run of this game. I was really sad about that, actually. But now, now I'm using it. Alright. Now we're gonna overwatch everybody. To prevent them from moving. If we hadn't triggered that second group, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have uh, moved up like I just did. Looks like, uh... Some of them are doing some very strange moves. Alright. Not much came out of that. Now, we we have a couple of options here. First of all, um, I would personally like to start chucking grenades down at people. Okay. Mostly, like, you can see, like, once again down here, we can kind of see where the where they're hiding at. Can't really completely see. Not exactly the best grenade in the world but it'll have to do. We know someone's there. Nice. All right, How, what's the infantry doing right now? No shots on anybody. I thought I gave him a assault carbine. Apparently I didn't. All right, we have, we have this guy and we have a squad sight shot on that one. Um, let's see, can, can we get other shots on that drone? Mostly this guy. Not a very good odds, but we can try. Oh, never mind. You did it. Okay. Which means we will continue to sp suppress. Because I would like to get rid of all the sectoids we have down there. Uh, let's have a look. So, because we have, unfortunately, some ways for them to get up here. That's... Okay. Here you go. Uh, this is kind of really weird. This, this kind of sh grenade. The way it has to go down. I actually have to press enter for that. I can click. It wouldn't let me. He might, I don't think he's dead, though. Alright, we're gonna overwatch with him. And can we get one more grenade down there? No. So we're gonna overwatch as well here. So we're just keeping him busy on the roof here. They should be reluctant to come up here while we're doing this. Yeah, he's just gonna, he's just gonna return fire at my other guy here. All right. Unfortunately, we just heard the one of the melds go away. Now nah, I wouldn't mind actually taking pot shots at that little fella here, but that's a uh, the far fetched shot there. So I I think uh, let's see what what other grenades do we have at our disposal here? We can throw a an HE grenade down. Kind of destroy their cover and the cars. Don't mind doing that. We're still just kind of lobbing grenades down there, but that's what we're, that's that actually one of the safer ways to handle this situation. Okay, he unfortunately handled that fairly well. All right, so we're gonna suppress again. I love the amount of ammo he has. And what we're gonna do is with these two rookies, steady aim. So they get like a really nice opportunity to try and take him out. Uh, I would like to move him, though, somewhere better, but I guess we won't. But we need someone overwatching here, I think, actually. I'm surprised that the, the sectoids at the bottom haven't attempted to move up here. Is he just gonna take a shot at the same guy? Okay. But then, 
He has like negative 30 aim and full cover, like he'll never hit him. Alright. So now we have a 40% chance to hit. I will take those odds. Ah, that's one. We have another suppression in case we can't uh, we can't kill him. Oh shucks. Shot wide. Actually, you know what? We have another opportunity to make a shot here potentially. It's twenty percent though. Ah, whatever. Let's try it. Yellow. No. All right. We may have to do. We may have to do another suppression. We. This is our last suppression though, unfortunately. And we'll be able to hold him back any further, oh, any longer. Oh, we killed someone there because that car blew up. What do you know? Okay, he needs to reload. Well, let's try and make the shot. I know 20% isn't exactly what I call good odds, but, you know, with three rookies. I'll try. I mean, that's like 60%, basically. Adjusting sights. Wouldn't count on it, though. Yeah, it didn't work. Damn it. Unfortunately, he now gets kind of a free shot on someone. He might actually get a flank action, now that I think about it, on this person. I probably should have moved him. Oh, God. Uh, yes, he is. Fuck me. That was a mistake. Luckily, I... The Xbox, the, the Xbox, the Xbox 360 gods have have uh, answered my prayers. All right. Is the gunner now like out of range? No, still has suppression capabilities. I would like to move this person back somewhere. I need to. Uh, move to get to reload. Or not, actually. I can just reload here. Alright. Still gonna overwatch here just to make sure that they don't come up here. Oh, uh, here we have another one. God, this is the worst place. Alright. I may have to move that one back. Yeah. I really hope we can take at least that sectoid out, because like we're taking basically really shit hits like like we're trying to we're trying to hit like a fucking Nat's anus on the other roof there. So that person is definitely going. Alright, what else do we got? Come on, forty percent? Yeah you can do that. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Uh yeah, this person is definitely moving back somewhere. Question is where? Affirmative. All right, let's go reload go. with this guy. Uh, well, how's our how's our throwing arm? Not very good. Okay, someone didn't play baseball in in high school or something. All right, well, unfortunately, I might as well just reload ready with the, the gunner so she's ready for next turn. Okay. I'm gonna move the infantry so there's no possibility for a flank there. And he picked the exact same place as his friend. Oh god. Oh, that rookie's gone. We, we do have a med kit here to stabilize him. This roof to roof bullshit is, is horrible. Alright, well, let's do it again. Suppression. I really hope I can take him out in just one turn here. Gonna move back here. We're green to go. Now, since he's suppressed, I'm pretty sure I can just use Holy. like all my players here and just kind of like uh, get a lot of shots off on him. <sighs> Infantry got him, so we're we're good. On Overwatch. I gotta I gotta be careful with this guy though. The gunner has to now spend his turn uh, going and resing the other. Well, not resing, but stabilizing. PFC rep. Naturally, he would be the one to go. Alright. Let's get some, uh... 
I've got my kind of want to make sure he doesn't bleed out. This is why we have that med kit. Alright, do we have some still down there? Oh, here we go. Let's get some reaction shots. There we go. Kind of let them come to me. Works for me. <laughs> and then they scurry inside the building. Now, this actually opens up for the opportunity to just jump down there and kill them. Because we know the one's there. Alright. PFC rip. We're gonna stabilize you. Alright, let's start moving people into a position to potentially go down. That's, that's gonna be one. That rookie can make it down there. Uh, we'll Heading go over here now. with this one. Heading to that location. I'm on it. Overwatch. I you know what? I, I'm hearing more of them over here. I don't like the fact that they're all scurrying around. Oh, and they're the behind. I think they're behind us now. Oh well, no, we, we know that they're under us. All right, well, fine. Triple strike. Go, go see what you can see. Oh, well, that's not nice. Heading to that location. Huh. Let's see what's on the bottom floor again. Well, not sure completely what to do here. Understood. Moving out. I, I guess the best option is to have one person kind of scout down there and out. maybe just Run jump down. Alright, they're probably just right under here, to be honest. Yeah, like right there. If I if I jump this guy down to that pillar, we'll probably have a good shot on them. Or maybe down to this truck. It's a bit of a risk for triple strike here, because he might trigger their overwatch, but let's try it. Oh, here we go. Oh, well. What kind of, what's our grenade situation? It's okay. Gotta do it like right here. I'm pretty sure I saw a whole bunch down there. Actually, I probably should have moved her slightly away, but I got one there. Can can that guy actually make it back up? No, he can't. He's just getting flanked. Uh, I have uh, weird memories of rooftop fights. Yes, Commander. Hopefully this will be okay. Wow, well, the best we could do there is Overwatch. Oh, actually, we got a nice aim bonus there. Oh, this, uh, we can actually see his friend there. We're not supposed to, but we can. All right, um, we need to bring our gunner up. And who are they gonna shoot? Oh, they're gonna try mind fright. Oh no, he's doing a mind meld with someone. Why? Oh, here we go. And we got a reaction shot from our infantry here. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I'll get him next time. I haven't actually gotten to use the infantry's abilities a whole lot, but trust me, they'll come into handy. Yeah, they're gonna shoot the people on the rooftops, just because they're they're not, they don't have very good cover. They're wall panic naturally. Yeah. This is this is pretty pretty, pretty normal for me. All right. Let's see how are things going now. I think if I go over here, I can get a flank on that one. That's a nice shot. There we go. I think that kills his friend. Yes, it did. Alright. Which means, with this one, we can actually move up to a flank. Because this is, I think, the last one. If not, there's enough covering fire. And grenades and shit. And this guy, what is he doing? Okay, so there was one more. Ah. Uh, remember when I said how aggressive I am? <laughs> that's, uh, that's the problem. Copy that. I didn't see all- I, I thought we had them all. It was a risk. Oh, well. See you in hell. Need a 
Resupply. All right, there's another one somewhere here. I'm, I'm actually now kind of worried because the same situation might happen. Oh, we don't see anybody here. I mean, I think they ran up there. Heading to that location. We'll just kind of overwatch, overwatch. everywhere. I feel overwatch. Oh, there you go. That's him. Oh, we got him before he could do anything. It's a shame about triple strike, though. Ah, oh, it's acceptable losses, don't worry. I mean, he was just a rookie, and I, as I said, I thought that we got them all, but I wasn't, I guess, counting. Whatever, who cares? It's not the end of the world. He wasn't, like, a really good soldier, he's just a fucking rookie. Sorry, triple strike, you're dead. Sorry. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm really cold. We'll get a grenade here, just simply because we don't have one yet. Uh, more suppression for the suppression gods. The well gun upgrade. So, uh, with this one, I, for my last one, I would get, like, uh, uh, hollow targeting. Uh, which is shooting at or suppressing enemies does plus 10 aim. You can also get flush, uh, which, you know, makes it more of a support thing. Uh, I would do that with maybe the saw. Uh, if you had wanted a saw, uh, guy. For me, I'm going to do Covering Fire, which means allows reaction shots to overwa uh, from Overwatch to trigger on enemy actions, not just movement. Does that mean... Does that mean suppression as well? Because I don't... Uh, I need to look that up. Give me a minute. What a shame. My entire strategy was, ru is, was just ruined just now. Um, yeah, this doesn't... Uh, covering Fire doesn't count for uh, suppression. So I'd have to overwatch him in order to get Covering Fire, which I don't really want to do. I want to make him a Suppression Expert with the LMG, uh, so we'll get uh, Hollow Targeting. It's important to note, if he does fire his weapon because of Suppression, which is if they're, like, not moving, um, they don't get the aim penalty, actually, that uh, that it says here. Uh, Regunner is using Saw or LMG weapon, again, Opportunist bonus when taking a Suppression-based rea reaction fire shot, which means they get the full shot. Uh, which is amazing. Um, you gotta depend upon the person moving. And I was hoping that covering fire would fire on the suppression, but apparently they didn't do that. Like I thought they did. Um, so I guess I just misread that the first time I looked at it. I think I looked at it again, though. Uh, we have our uh, infantry leveled up. We either get steadfast, which makes them not panic. Uh, executioner, more aim and critical chance. Or we can get covering fire, which is allows reaction shots for from over, uh, that <laughs> shots from Overwatch, the same thing as before. This one is actually going to be an Overwatch specialist, so you'll get to see that. And let's get a scoot. Tibes is going to be our scoot, and uh, that does it for that. So we got a bunch of drone wrecks and uh, some money. We will be in touch, Commander. And with this, we will build our satellite uplink. So that's going to take 21 days. On their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Did I mention I realized that I didn't, in the first episode, remove beginner VO? Whatever, who gives a shit? Oh well. Alright, well, actually, yeah, we're spinning the globe. There's, I don't think there's anything else I really want. Uh, we have also requests, like, various from China. Uh, sorry, let me go see what that is. They want satellites, like, all the fucking time. Satellites for me right now are extremely expensive. Um, so it's not really worthwhile just to get, like, an engineer or two. Um, you cannot get engineers and scientists from workshops or laboratories. You must get them from uh, other means, like uh, from completing requests or doing certain missions. Uh, and if you notice that uh, the mission that we did today, um, we only had money from it, because that's what Long War does. Um, apparently Australia is getting hammered by UFOs. And everyone's coming back from, from uh, duty here. Oh, and here you go. Another objection. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. It's in Argentina. Argentina got shit in my last one, too, and it's moderate alien activity, so... Uh, well, let's if see how the research is going. If we don't address the lack of available scientists in the lab soon, we run the risk of falling behind on our research. Whatever, Valen. Shut up. Alright, uh, so I guess, uh, I guess that's all we really want to do here. Uh, yeah, I got, like, everything here, like, just, just completely sorted out in terms of what I want to be doing. I'm trying to build down and, and build a, um... First of all, I'm trying to build a power facility because we're now at 30-30 power. So, generally the satellite uplink, it's basically a choice of do you want an early satellite for early economy or do you want like to b dig down and possibly get er early power. And in my particular case, um, eh, I decide to go for uh, option number or whatever I want. Okay, so anyways, uh, that's all the time we got for today, guys. Remember, 
we will be watching.